All right, many of you will be wondering why you're seeing pictures of two different TurboTax products. One is the Premier and one of this is the business. Now this will be sort of an interesting story and I'll try to make it as interesting as I can. Uh, as a lot of you may know, my mother passed away back in June of last year and I became the trustee. Now, what a lot of you don't know, because you probably haven't been through it, but this is to help you, is that the minute someone passes away, they still have to have their taxes filed. That's my job. Now, if I'd known what I know now back then, I probably would have said, mm, not interested in the job, but I can't turn back the clock. So doing the taxes is a bit of a challenge because I've never done it for an estate or a trust when someone's deceased. So I just assumed that I could get TurboTax Premier, what I always use. And there's nothing on it that says I can't. And when you use the product on your computer, as I did, you are asked to enter in if the person you're doing, my mother, is deceased or not. Well, I did that. Now, Nothing showed up on the program that says, hey, your mother is deceased. You need to do something different. And what that different is, this produces a 1040, which is a traditional tax product. That's what everybody who's alive does with the IRS. They produce a 1040. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't do that with someone who's deceased for a couple of reasons. First one is they no longer have a social security number. They have what's called an EIN, Echo India November. I think it's an employee identification number. And just as an aside, the IRS will send you this EIN. They'll only send it to you once. The paperwork that uh, comes with the letter from the IRS is if you lose that EIN, you're SOL, you're out of luck. And they make it very clear. So this only produces 1040s. So we'll throw it to the side because I'll show you in a second why it doesn't matter. What you have to file is a 1041. And it's in the letter that the IRS sends you when you're the trustee. The only problem is they don't explain it to you that you can no longer use a 1040. They don't even explain what a 1041 is. So it's taken me a week to figure out that a 1041 is what is produced on someone who's deceased. Not a 1040, a 1041. And like I said, the IRS does not tell you that. It's been a long journey for me to figure out that simple fact. Now, I just assumed after I found out that a 1041 was required that I could use this program to do a 1041. Oh, then I had to call into it the makers of TurboTax and I spoke to three separate tech support people. They were all very nice, they were all very polite. I have no complaints about that. Now, you would think that TurboTax, the minute I entered in on this program, that the person was deceased, would have had it programmed where it would have said, oh no, no, you can't use this program to do a 1041. You would have thought they would have told you you have to use a 1041, but they don't. Now, it took three tech support people from Intuit, the makers of TurboTax, to sort of get close to that piece of information I'm giving you. None of TurboTax's programs will produce a 1041 except for the business one. It only does federal, and you can see down at the bottom it says trust or estate return. This will produce a 1041. You can't even sneak a 1041 into anything but this program because none of the other programs contain the form. Now, like I said, I probably got about eight hours into discovering this. I've entered all the data from my mother into this form, which takes a lot of time. You gotta download it and all this stuff. It's, it's not easy, but it's not too difficult. The sad thing is that Intuit made it difficult because they failed to tell me, the consumer, that once I entered the information that she was deceased, they failed to say, oh, by the way, this will not work for a 1041. 
and they know it. It's tax law. It's what they do. I had another problem with the TurboTax products. On these three computers, every time I tried to log on with TurboTax product to put in the serial number, which you have to put in in order to get authorized to use the program, I couldn't connect to the Intuit servers. Now I realized on all three computers, I could log on to anything, YouTube, news channels, the weather channel. At the same time, the program was popping up and saying, we can't connect to the internet, you need to connect to the internet. Well, there's a problem with the servers at Intuit. And then the suggestion was, is turn off your antivirus and turn off your, uh, I forgot, the Defender, it's the thing that stops hacking. Well, that didn't work either. What I did learn is that when you get one of those pop-ups from the program TurboTax, whether it be Premier or anything else, is just keep clicking the button. Try and try and try. I literally spent 10 minutes trying, and I did that by chance. As I was talking to one of the tech people who was researching it for me, I kept hitting the button. And lo and behold, I finally connected to the server, which authorized, took my license number for this, allowed me to use it, and then to update it, same problem. It kept saying, can't connect to the Intuit.com server. Now I realized I could connect to every other site in the planet on three separate computers because I kept thinking, oh, maybe my computer's bad. Well, it wasn't the computer. It is my opinion that the server for Intuit was either overloaded or it doesn't work very well. I was dissatisfied to say the least. So I just got the business one to do the trust or estate return. It's only good for federal because obviously only the feds require a 1041. Now, does the state require a tax return? Don't know, but this one will only do federal. So you can put all the information into this one, but it does not generate a state income tax form. Because see how it says state returns? So, oh Lordy, in hindsight, should I have just given all of this to a tax accountant and done it? Well, if I had, I wouldn't be able to learn as much as I've learned. So my recommendations, make sure you get the federal form the federal program, as everything other than that will not work on producing a 1041. And would I probably have considered other options like researching tax, I think it's called tax act or tax cut, whatever, their competitors. Because it is my impression, I'm not trying to give TurboTax a hard time or Intuit a hard time, it doesn't seem to work as smoothly independent of this issue of the 1041. I'm less impressed with the program now than I was three years ago. And one example I can give you, as I loaded my mother's old tax return into this version, in the past, TurboTax would remind you, do you want to look at this or this or this? And it would remind you, it didn't do it on the new version. And I thought that's a little odd. So I don't know what's changed. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know if it's my error or Intuit's error or the TurboTax error programming. I can just tell you that it was an unsatisfactory experience separate from the 1041 issue. It doesn't seem to be as polished. It doesn't seem to be as smooth. This is only my opinion. So I'm suggesting for a number of reasons that you might consider competitors' products. And I'm not re recommending any competitors' products. I'm just telling you what I would do if someone said, hey, what would you do? I would look at the alternate uh, alternative programs that do the same thing that TurboTax does, make sure that they do trust or estate or a 1041, and then be prepared if you go with TurboTax to get these error messages saying that you can't connect to the internet. So it can't certify the programs and purchase using the license because it will frustrate you. And nowhere in the error message does it say, hey, listen, our servers are overloaded. 
try later or continue to try. It doesn't say that. So that's why I ended up using three computers because I kept thinking, well, maybe something's wrong with my hardware or software. Now, I'm lucky that I have old computers that all work. That's, that's my advantage. I'm not sure everybody does. So just as a suggestion, keep your options open. Don't assume that TurboTax is reporting correctly that you don't have a connection to the internet. In fact, assume the opposite. Assume that it's a server issue. And I don't, like I said, I don't know if it's a server issue. I don't know that. But my point is continue to try to make the connection. Just keep hitting the button. Now I had to take, if you're familiar with computers, you know what Notepad is. So what I did is I put the license number in Notepad and I just copy and paste it because every time you disconnect from this, the attempted try and retry again for TurboTax, you have to hand jam it in again. And that gets real old when you've done it 30 times. So I would just, uh, you know, the computer works like uh, control A, control C, which is select and copy, and then control V, which is paste. And it made it so much easier to go control V, the window would open up, I'd hit control V, which would then paste it into it. I would click the button trying to connect to their server. It would say I needed to be connected to the internet. I had other windows open surfing the internet. When you click off, click uh, cancel, you have to start all over again. It gets old real fast. So this is just my opinion. If you have to do a 1041, if you have to do a trust or an estate, use TurboTax Business if you're gonna use an Intuit product. Just my suggestions. It is interesting that these issues have not been resolved. Because I think about six, 7,000 people die a day in the United States. And screw the COVID stuff. I'm just saying in general. So that's a lot of deaths per year. So clearly, I doubt that I'm the first one to ever experience these shortcomings in the program. I just don't want you to experience the shortcomings. If I had had someone tell me that, hey, listen, only the business one does the 1041, I would have saved myself eight, nine hours. And most of that was on hold, waiting for the one, and they were wonderful support people. I'm not bad-mouthing them, trying to get the problem solved when all it would take was being buying the business model. Now I've also bought, I bought Premier, then I had to buy business. And yeah, they have a 60 day warranty, but can you imagine trying to return this because you're not happy with it? I don't want to imagine how much time that would take. So enjoy. If I have any other issues, you will know because now I've got to see if the file that I created in Premier can be taken into business so I don't have to re-enter all the data. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Try to be, I'll try to be positive. I appreciate your time. I love you all. Oh, it rained. It, I'm sorry. It snowed four inches today here in the Midwest, in the Wisconsin area. It was impressive. It was a lot of snow. And for the first time since this winter started, I saw a number of cars that slid off the road and were waiting for tow trucks. So the point is, is that it was a very slippery snow. Very fine, very granular, very slippery. It wasn't that wet, heavy snow that sometimes you get. So it's supposed to get up to 40 degrees, maybe up to 40 degrees next week. All the snow will melt. Life is good. So I love you all. Talk to you later. Bye. All right. This is the problem I've had with TurboTax. It says could not connect to the update site. And it implies that your computer, make sure that my computer is connected to the internet. Your firewall and antivirus programs is set to let this progress product check for updates. Hmm. And what do you see in the background? You see YouTube. Oh, God, you got to love whatever we're doing. Oh, look. And look, I just typed in. So you can see that I'm connected 
to the internet. Now I will minimize these and we'll hit try again. And notice it's the same error message, try again. And I will drive you as nuts as I was driven. Try again. Try again. Try again. Now I realized the first time I did this, I was online with tech support. And like I said, they were, I was on hold. I had no problem with that. The people were wonderful. I loved the tech support. But I was doing this for 20, 30 minutes. And it kept saying, You're, you need to connect to the internet. Well, guess what? As you can see, I'm connected to the internet. Man, you can just click and click. Now, if you're unaware of the problem I was having, which obviously you were before you saw this video, you would think that you weren't connected to the internet. So I did a Wi-Fi connection. I did a network cable connection. Wondering, well, what's wrong with my computer? Nothing's wrong with your computer. There's a problem. It's not with your computer. It's not with the internet. It's because TurboTax is having difficulty connecting to its server. I don't know why. I have no idea why. But rather than bore you and do this for a couple hours, I'll just keep trying and eventually I'll get there. So you have been warned. Love you. Bye. All right. 15 minutes later, I finally got the update to work. I've reloaded the program, but you see the message? Could not connect to the update site. It's already updated. It's neither here nor there. The point is you're gonna see the same error message over and over again. And as you can see in the background, I'm connected to the internet. Local news. You need to be there. So I'm connected to the internet, but according to the wonderful people at TurboTax, I'm not. Click. Click. <gasps> it worked this time. It's unpredictable. Now we're going to go through the I agree. Here we go to the I agree. You're not connected to the internet. Trust me. I have saved you a whole eight hours of your life. Now, all you could do for me is a favor is just hit the like button or even better, give me an explanation of what I'm doing wrong because I don't know. You just saw that the browser, I'm connected to the internet. I'm connected via a cable. So the Wi-Fi is not even an issue, although it isn't an issue anyway. So I'm not gonna show you this part because once again, I don't see any reason to bore you to tears. I'll talk to you later. All right, I finally got connected. And then it wants to do the TurboTax Business 2021 activation. And then you'll get these little balls, these little blue balls swirling and swirling and swirling. Because realize now I'm trying to hit the activation server. And we've been going at this for a minute now with the little blue balls circling. No indication that there's any connection. And what you'll discover is that you can watch these blue balls do this for a freaking 30 minutes and have no idea, no idea that you are not connected to the TurboTax activation servers. I'm giving you the benefit of my horrific experience. Talk to you later.